thousand dollars. Al dente is often used to describe a preparation of which of the following foods? Meat, cake, fish, pasta. I definitely would not want al dente cake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't. I don't want slightly crispy cake or fish. I don't eat fish anyway. But you know what? This is a good question to ask a Sicilian boy, and I know my pasta, and that's my final answer. Oh yeah, you definitely know your pasta. You're right. Seven thousand dollars. You're doing very well, sir. Whew. Ten thousand dollar questions on the board right now. Which of the following is another name for fossilized tree sap? Tar, jasper, bauxite, amber. Amber. Final answer. Just straight to the it. point. <laughs> straight to the point. You got ten thousand dollars. And then we have a good bit of that in Florida because of all of the pine trees. The pine trees are constantly leaking and getting crap all over my car. Mm -hmm. Here we go for 20000 Which of these famous buildings no longer exists? Hmm. Parthenon, Tower of London, the Colosseum, Bastille. Now, let me just make sure I have the correct answer to this so I don't botch it up. Okay, I got it. You said Parthenon, the Tower of London. The Tower of London is still there. Um, you said Bastille. Bastille is still yes. there. It's the big church in France. Um, and then you said the Colosseum. Yep. The question which, which of these famous buildings no longer exists no longer exists parthenon tower of london the coliseum bastille tower of london bastille bastille's still there for sure tower of london's still there for sure um so it's between the Parthenon and the Colosseum. I want to say that the remains of the Colosseum are still there in Rome. So I'm really leaning towards the Parthenon. I really want to say the Parthenon, but you know what? I would rather play safe than sorry. I'm going to use my 50-50. Final answer? Final answer. All right, final answer. Let's uh, have the computer take away two of the four choices and I can't I can't do the sound effect unless I drop a proper answer so I'll do that and you're actually left with the Tower of London and Bastille huh really? yeah oh I won't. well Bastille is the big church in France so that would mean it it has to be the Tower of London I'm so confused. <laughs> or am I thinking of Notre Dame? Whereas us, us American folks say Notre Dame. Oh gosh. The Tower of London is still there. And I think Bastille, Bastille is Bastille the church or is I'm really starting to think Notre Dame is the church that I'm thinking of. Notre Dame is the church. So what was Bastille? Some sort of Oh my gosh. 
do I use another lifeline or do I punt? Bastille, final answer. Get out. Well, you're risking five grand if you're wrong. But you're not wrong. Ah! Bastille is the answer. I was, I've been, I've, I was thinking Notre Dame. Yeah, well, uh, I think Al, I can't, I think Caber can tell you what Bastille was. Yeah, I mean, the French Revolution, the Stormy Steel, so. Tower of King and Queen, the Hydra Jewel. Coliseum uh -huh. Okay. $20,000, Braden. Good thing you talked yourself out of that one. Yeah, or talked myself into the right answer, but. $30,000 question coming up here. You're just, uh, let's see, you're five away. Or six away. No, you're six away. You're six away. Here we go. The nickname The Windy City was popularized by a newspaper claiming Chicagoans were what? Loquacious or loquacious? Corrupt? Boastful? Tempestuous or tempestuous? Can't get the pronunciation right. I'll repeat the choices. Loquacious, corrupt, boastful, tempestuous. My folks are from Chicago. I know that it's it's like a political term, but read those. Read those answers. Loquacious, 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 corrupt, boastful, tempestuous. I'm going to use my plus one. Final answer? Final answer. All right. Kbert, join him. Ben. Um, ben. I... I don't want well, okay, Ben. Oh I no. Guess, oh, I guess we're, we're on a first name basis first, at this point. <laughs> we're now on a first name basis. Okay, Ben. <laughs> help your friend out there. I wish I could. You, honestly, when I thought I thought I just went to the city. You're cutting in and out. You're cutting oh, in and out yeah, there, Ben. Uh, there. I don't know where to like it. Sometimes I think I think your mic is picking up the, the music because when I when your voice cuts out I hear the music. Because now you're cutting out. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, good. So, I mean, like, Windy City, when you think of petition, they're like, when did gracious just means that you talk? That could be it. Honestly, I'm so sorry. I really talk this one out. Yeah. It's just a very, it's a very broad term. Like, when I, I thought Windy... Yeah. Like winded would be like exactly. boast would be like winded. boastful, but that could winded. also be loquacious too, couldn't it? Right, because I'm thinking of the term "did" people that just talk a lot. Right. But when corrupt might make sense. Corrupt doesn't make sense, even though that's more. I mean, there's a lot of corrupt. I go. I think. Tempestuous, I think they just threw that in there. Just be the tempestuous. Yeah. I, if I had to guess, I'd say what you should. Yeah, so I'm torn between that would be A and B, I believe, because that B would be yeah, boastful. Boastful is C. Sorry, loquacious so, is A. so I'm between A and C. Between boastful and, and loquacious, yeah. Yeah, boastful is a good one too. Cause boastful, I think like big winded, like I'm talking a lot, you oh, know, like right. big, like yeah. boastful. Um, Shit, I, I wish you let's, saved it. Let's, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Then would pick Tug to bring me up? The other one I do. Well, let's ask the I'm, audience. Yeah. Final that. answer. Final answer. Yeah. All right, audience, we need your help on your keypads. Vote now. 
And I'll eventually do some sort of lighting effect while the audience is voting. Alright. So, 62% say boastful. Mm, That's what I was leaning towards. 38% 38% say corrupt, and 1% each for loquacious and tempestuous. Then you're, then you're right. That's what I was leaning bef yeah. towards before I, I used plus one also. When yeah, in doubt, you... go with C. Yeah. Boastful, final answer. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're right. Ah. Phew. It's on her face. Oh man, that was that was tough. That was thirty thousand dollars. But look at the board, Braden. They're gone for now. If you get the next one right, we'll give you another one, though. I, I gotta I gotta hit that fifty. I gotta hit that fifty mark. Gotta hit that fifty. Let's do it. Here it is for fifty thousand dollars. In its purest form, which metal is the most malleable? Gold, silver, copper, aluminum. Now I think malleable means like, like in it's it's naturally soft, like a softer metal. If, yeah, it's if, spelled M A L L E A B L. Right, -E -A -B -L, right. I, I right. I'm familiar of the term, and the term meaning, I, I want to say, means, it means like it's relatively softer. It can be manipulated much easier. Um, and I know that gold is one of the softest metals, so I'm immediately inclined to go with gold, because that makes the most sense. Now I just I just hope I hope I'm recalling my chemistry right. Uh, my chemistry science, you know. Okay, repeat the answer choices. Gold, silver, copper, aluminum. Now I guess in the same aspect copper and aluminum are also both relatively soft and easy to work with. I mean, aluminum foil. But then again, it's not... You're not really manipulating foil. It's just... And there's a lot more that goes into it. And aluminum itself is not... It's not like a softer metal. Gold is soft because it can easily be warped and manipulated, which is why everyone loves to make jewelry out of it. That's That makes the most sense. Gold. Final answer. Oh. It's. Uh, I, I. Oh uh, no, Brayden. Is it wrong? I thought, I thought it was copper. My bladder's about to blow. We'll be right back. In no, a don't you dare! Don't you dare! <laughs> no, no! <laughs> don't I you! My bladder really is about to blow. <laughs> I gotta take a whiz. Uh, you didn't. I'll be back in a minute. Ah. Uh. Not cool. <laughs> he did not just Jeremy Clarkson me. <laughs> Wait, Jeremy's done that? He's not not, no. not not like no, but he has the really, really funny throw to commercials. Oh. <laughs> now you got four minutes to put your kids to bed. If you haven't got any children, you got four I minutes. I really hope they get picked up again. I, their their questions are ridiculously I don't know if you've seen them. I have, but I mean, a, a contestant making it to the 500,000 pound question on the series premiere, how incredible is that? Yeah. They're, yeah. Wasn't, was that the question about Roald Amundsen? The world, the end of World War, or the, uh, what was it? It was about... No, you're, wait, what are you thinking? Oh, well, that's all. 
I'm talking about the contestant on the, the new series of uh, the British who wants to be a millionaire that made it to the 500,000 pound question. I barely made it back before my bladder just decided to just squirt it out. We ready? <laughs> Alright, no, no, I didn't really explain this. When you throw out of commercial, click yeah. audience and I guess this would be tier two. So you'd hit, you'd hit throw, you'd uh, go from commercial and then you'd hit audience and tier two. Alright. Here we go. Let me just go ahead and get back into it. We're ready to go? I and No, go. but okay. <laughs> no? All right, here we go. <laughs> and welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Before the break, we uh, Braden Dees was faced with this question, which would be worth to him $50,000 guaranteed. And it hit final it's answer? Form. Yep, well, that's right. i got to hit the final answer. See, that's what I was not aware of. Yep. Sorry. During my training. The question was, in its purest form, which metal is the most malleable? Gold, silver, copper, or aluminum? You answered with gold. Brayden? Mm-hmm. Chemistry really paid off for you. What? Wow, nice guy. Whoo! It, it made sense, yeah. thousand dollars. Well done. You know what this means, don't you? The $100,000 question, and I get to switch the question. There it is on the board. Now, you know how that works. I don't need to explain it any, any further. <sighs> Let's just do it. Here it is for $100,000. What Native American language was used in the... 1990 movie Dances with Wolves. Cherokee, Osage, 